Hi, I'm Alan Rode, co-founder of Taxman. Today we are talking about digital taxes. Many countries, including France and Italy, have introduced or are thinking to introduce digital service taxes, meaning digital taxes on the revenues generated with digital advertising, marketplace intermediation services, or the sale of personal data. But why this proliferation of digital service taxes? The reason lies in the fact that the current international tax framework has badly aged. Most international tax rules are not fit with the development of the global economy and of the digital industry, and they are leading to unfair outcome in many occasions. Most international tax rules, they fail to take into account a very important factor that nowadays you can make revenues in another country without the need of any physical presence. Let's make an example. You can perfectly sell movie streaming services from Ireland to Italian and German consumers without an office or agents or staff in Italy or Germany. Unsurprisingly, most digital multinationals have the European headquarters in Ireland and Luxembourg to low tax jurisdiction. Google, Facebook, Amazon. Some countries have rushed to introduce digital service taxes because of their need of tax revenues, but the European Union is quite against digital service taxes because they tend to hinder the freedom of circulation of services in Europe and to prevent the consolidation of the European digital single market. This is why in 2018 the European Union has put forward two proposals, one for a set of rules to harmonize digital service taxes in Europe and another more long-term approach to reshape corporation tax rules globally. The OECD is following a similar path. In 2019, they put forward a proposal based on two pillars to reshape the corporation tax rule globally. Pillar one mostly concerns with the reallocation of taxing rights and the creation of a concept of digital permanent establishment, while pillar two is mostly meant at avoiding the transfer of profits by multinational groups towards low-tax jurisdictions. So in conclusion, shall we go with a digital service tax or shall we go with a long-term reshaping of the tax rules internationally? I'm curious to hear your opinion. Please feel free to post it below this video. And thank you for watching, of course. Bye-bye for now. Ciao!